All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to finally some more of the Princess Rescue. Uh, yes, I. Okay, I'll be honest. Yes, I know I missed two weeks of recording. Um, very simply said, uh, I have kind of been busy on some other projects I've been working on uh, and all that fun type of stuff. Uh, but other than that, though, uh, we've been doing decently well. Um, you know, oh. Those are explodey boy, explodey boys, B O I Z. No, I'm joking. Um, but yeah. So, um, also I do love the Sonic theme music here. I think it fits very well, actually. And that's some bullshit. Anyways, uh, so with all this that's coming going on, we've been doing some extra stuffs here and there. Um, you know, just having fun. You know, just just chilling and being ourselves and apparently I can't okay apparently it doesn't kill oh shit I didn't see that one already shaking well I should just give up because apparently I'm doing fantastic today but I hope you guys are all enjoying yourselves and stuff like that um, if you guys have not seen um, that uh, we were playing some of uh, Paper Mario Origami King over on the Twitch channel, uh, which I've actually decided that I'm going to, um, funny enough, I actually plan on that I'm going to uh, kind of upload the, uh, uh, what do you want to call those? The, uh, that was just horrible. I plan on uploading the... Uh, streams onto YouTube uh, without doing any type of editing and anything like that. So I just mean an export straight from YouTube. Um, the reason why I'm going to go that route is um, YouTube has a new feature uh, called a timestamp, and uh, not, it's not really a new feature, but you guys know what I mean. It's new because they now finally uh, show it in the uh, in like the taskbar and stuff like that. It's brand new. Um, oh my god. This ice is going to murder me so badly. Uh, and what it does now is it actually, on your timeline, it actually splits it up. Um, so what I could possibly do is uh, kind of show off everything and be able to timestamp where everything happened. Uh, obviously, I'll have timestamps for like any breaks and stuff like that. I mean, if I really want to go ham, I could just like download them uh, all from Twitch themselves. Uh, since I don't believe I actually recorded any sessions. I believe I recorded one session. I do remember that I did. And this flying block is pissing, pissing me off. off. Uh, I do remember I recorded one session of it. Uh, so one of the sessions might be uploaded uh, as a actual recording session type deal where you'll have a little bit of editing in here and there and stuff. Uh, but what I've thought of doing is basically taking them... Now this is, this is just an idea. I'm not going. I'm not 100% saying I'm doing this yet. Um, I have the idea. I hate you, game. I have the idea. If I can actually get a freaking sentence out of here without me crying, that I would like to uh, basically split them up into about 20 to 25 minute episodes, and um, what I'll do for the next few weeks is try to do a upload um, at least once a day versus only on Thursdays. The only issue with that, guys, and you guys have to bear with me when I say this, is I don't know if that's actually going to work or not. Um, so, with that in mind, though, uh, if I feel up to the task... Uh, of uploading daily, which well, honestly a lot of it's just going to be pre-planning anyways, so it's not going to be too much of a big deal, but the main thing I want to ask is would you guys actually rather have shorter but more frequent content or do you guys want longer form content 
uh, that's only like one or two days. So for example, a lot of my Mario stuff is within the 25-30 minute range um, because I am actually a bigger fan of long form video than I am short form video. Uh, some things I do believe short form would be better. Uh, as a big example, if I did a review, I don't think a 30 minute review is going to... Oh, oh, okay. Um, I don't think a 30 minute review of a product, for example, is going to make any... Are you fucking kidding me? I don't think a 30 minute review of a product is going to be any better than me just giving my honest opinions that it's only 20 minutes long. You guys get what I'm saying? Um, or if it's only 10 minutes long. So, uh, that's kind of the idea. Uh, will I be able to put into action? That is the real question. So, I want you guys to let me know it. Fuck off, game! God damn, the ice visitors are so. Um, uh, but let me know down below, guys. Would you guys rather I upload more frequently, but have shorter content? So, trying to maybe stay within the very early 20 range, like 20 to 21 minutes. Or would you guys rather I continue uploading the way I am right now, which is only like once a week? Ooh, I hate that. Where I only upload uh, once or twice a week, but they're more long form content, like 30 minute wise. So, let me know what you guys think. I pretty much think I know the answer, um, but I want to hear from you guys. For instance, you guys are the people who I care about more. Um, and with the answer that I think you guys are going to want, uh, that could help but also harm my uh, burnout for this show. So, we'll just have to be careful with burnout, guys, as always, since you guys don't know this or not, but burnout is real. I was burnt out of a lot of content for a while back in the day uh, before I came back and started doing Twitch and stuff. So... Um, and the main thing I'll say is that if I start feeling like my quality is starting to decrease on the channel, I will go back to doing only once a week. Um, but if you guys are, um, if you guys like the content like this where it's kind of just more personalized or we're just kind of just hanging out versus me being more like over dramatic or over the fuck off game or over the top or blah, 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 blah. Uh, then that's also totally fine too. So, there are multiple ways that um, anyone can record a video, uh, but I'm just trying to find the most... Why did Luigi just go all the way over? Uh, this ice is killing me. Uh, yeah, but uh, I do want you guys to know that we have a recording uh, on... Today is Friday, so on... Uh, Wednesday slash Thursday morning, and I'm talking like 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, dot dot dot, um, both myself and Houdini got into a call, and we just, uh, we were just hanging out for a little bit, but then we just decided just to go ahead and just do some recording while we had some time on our hands, and, uh, yeah, so we finished up, uh, New Super Mario Brothers 2 that night, uh, just to make our lives slash my life a lot easier, and uh, the next game that we're going to be doing as a me and Houdini is going to be uh, GTA San Andreas. Um, but also, um, I am going to be talking to our Discord groups and stuff to see if they want us to do try to do a five a week type deal. Um, but as I've kind of told them before is that five a week is something that's very, very hard to maintain. So it's going to have to be a, you know, like you guys are going to have to give us some chill time, obviously. Uh, but I am more than happy to do that if you guys want. So, um, again, the best person to talk to is Houdini since I don't say he runs the channel. If that is a bad thing to say, uh, we both do our, our equal parts. We're both in the recordings. We uh, Houdini does a lot of the editing portion of it, while I do a lot more of the uh, logistics and shit like that. So I do like all the titles, thumbnails, all the promoting and stuff like that. All that fun crap is done by me. 
uh also this is a very beautiful song and uh you know it's just a fun time that's the whole point of it. it's a fun time you know because i've seen a lot of companies start to die when they really try starting to think about business and shit like that and it saddens me because i don't want <laughs> Uh, let's not say like that. I do eventually want this to become my career, right? But I never want to think of this as a, oh god, I guess I have to stream today type deal, right? Like, um, you know, if I could, if someone was like, oh, what's your occupation? I'll be like, I am a streamer or I am a content creator. Then that is just a freaking cool thing to say, in my opinion. So, um,. If that is possible, then that will always be, again, what I will strive for as much as I can. Uh, but right now, um, I just want to have fun. And sometimes fun does have to equal a little less content. So, um, you know, and obviously for a lot of people who don't know this, um, who did not watch the Nest update video, which, that's bullshit. I actually ducked down before that even happened, but whatever. But anyone who did not uh, watch the Nest's update video, uh, please, first of all, do. Um, that will kind of explain why we haven't been posting on our The Nest channel in a while. Um, you know, so I feel like that, you know, again, I, I'll let you guys know, I am as transparent with you guys as I am allowed to be. So, and that is how me and, and Houdini believe in our relationship. We are very open about things. If we don't like something, we'll talk about it. If there's something that needs to be improved, we talk about it. That's why I love working with him so much. Um, you know, but we do have some really cool stuff coming up, hopefully. Okay, that was kind of weird. And this is going to be become intensely harder now, isn't it? Fantastic. And the button input died. So, yeah, but if you guys haven't watched that update video, please, 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 please watch it. Because it's going to explain a lot of reasoning why neither me and or Houdini have been... Uh, posting anything on the channel um, Mainly again a lot of as, as you guys know how the relationship works. He does do a lot of the editing portion um, So with that you guys can kind of tell why if you guys watch the video why we uh, decided to take a break for a little bit but um, I think our I don't want to say we're going back a hundred percent at it. I think we are going very uh, specific, how do I say this? We're not going at a hundred percent. We're going, going to, we're going to be more about 50 to 60 for the moment. Uh, that way we can kind of spend some time on the personal channels and get those back to being where we need them to be. There we go. And that was some bullshit. But yeah, so, um, but enough about me talking. Uh, I do have some uh, something funny I do want to talk about today. Um, so as you guys know, I am pretty much a you know a big tech person. I do love technology and all that fun type of shit. Oh, I didn't know there's no block. I wasn't scared for a second. <laughs> Whatever, get it, please. Thank you. And um, something uh, today happened uh, at work. Now, as you guys know, I don't do anything where I like reveal names or anything like that because that is breach of privacy. And I do actually give a shit about people's privacy, if you guys didn't know that. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, so today, uh, to make it as, as very vague as possible, uh, one of my good friend slash team members uh, gave me a call uh, because something wasn't working. <laughs> and so obviously as, well, being the tech boy, I was able to somehow get it to work. You know. And it took a little bit of time, uh, but I do want to give a quote-unquote a Luigi lesson today. Uh, so Luigi's lesson for today is if anyone is going to be using a UPS or a uninterruptible power supply, uh, make sure that you do have um, 
like either a backup ready or some type of warranty thing for it. Um, so one of our registers today apparently was shut off and no one knew, which I'll be honest too, I didn't know it was shut off either. But also that's also kind of not my department house area to worry about, TBH, so. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 speed run, boys. And, uh, and this is towards the end of the night, too, so we don't really have anybody in there. I don't know what this sound is, but. Uh, hey, what up? Woo! And, uh, basically, the UPS that was plugged into the registers, uh, register slash POS, whatever you want to call it, um, was dead. So. If your UPS would ever say something like, oh, hey, it's overjolted or it's just not working in general, um, usually when that happens, what will happen is that the power strip portion of it uh, will uh, also not work as well. So as your guys' Luigi tip for the day, make sure you always have some type of of backup ready for your UPS if you ever decide to buy one which I do recommend honestly if you're gonna if you're someone who is serious about technology um, a UPS especially if you're needing like a really good one it is a little bit of an investment I will be very honest uh, you you know especially if you need one that has a lot of ports on it uh, but the main thing I have learned from my years at okay well I'm fucked, I guess. Uh, a lot of my years from doing tech and shit like that, uh, something that I've learned is that if you are someone like me who has their life... Fuck! Who has their life basically on the internet, you know? Obviously, I have a I, an in-real-life job. Uh, but also, too, I do have some things that are specifically internet-only, right? So, you know, obviously Twitch is one of those big things and, you know, without internet, I can't do that job. So, yeah. But uh, with having that all the time, if something would happen like the power would get out or something like that, and if my internet would go out, uh, if I have a battery backup or a, what I, what I will say, is a UPS, um, then the cool part about that is... Um, your internet actually doesn't go out so a lot of people don't know this whenever your power goes out a lot of people are like my internet goes out all the time when the power goes out matt you're you're spe oh sorry not i shouldn't be saying oh whatever fuck it it's in my fucking twitch bio um it was like matt you're spewing shit it's like actually i'm not a lot of people don't know this but um your internet and your home phone actually never do fully like quote unquote die uh the main issue is that uh your router slash modem depending on if you have it both but it's mostly going to be your modem if your modem has no information oh that's see actually that's pretty cool if your modem has no information or power to give to it it won't be able to give you any type of signal I see bullets on. And so when that happens, the main issue is that then you basically get, get Okay, thanks game. I basically get shit out of luck. I just spit on the microphone. And with that I just had a burp right there, excuse me guys, I'm sorry. Um and with that you guys obviously lose your internet. So if you want to keep your internet slash your home phone turned on during a power outage or if, if you're if you live somewhere like I am, which is um, you know St. Louis, Missouri obviously, um, uh, one thing is that we are in what's called the Tornado Valley. Um, well the area that I live in is considered Tornado Valley. So because, well, I have to be completely honest, a lot of tornadoes touch down in my area. I'm not saying it's fun, I'm just saying it's the, it's the truth. Um, yeah, but, you know, having... Ah, oh, fuck me. Having the, uh... God damn it. I had to remember that these emulators have button thingies. Um, but remembering that, uh, one thing that I will be doing is, um, eventually I will be switching providers... 
uh, for my internet service just because I am not happy with our, our ISP right now. Uh, especially for how they fucked me. Uh, it makes me very, very, very annoyed. Also, I forgot to turn off the Elgato thing. Sorry, guys. That is my fault. If you guys have had to look at that green thing all that time, I'm so sorry. You guys can fight me in the comments below. Uh, but with that uh, type of stuff, um, what I plan on doing is uh, getting a UPS. Uh, and getting one with like a really long cord. Um... And then basically have it to where the UPS will have the modem and router be on a battery backup. Uh, since I only really need, honestly, two ports for that. Uh, you know, obviously the modem is one port and the router is the other port. Um, I obviously wouldn't have to really worry about uh, anything else. The one thing I would have to worry about would be my uh, gigabit Ethernet switcher. And those... Um, honestly, if anything, I can just move my Ethernet cable to a different thing, which is super quick for me to do, since everything's all in one place. Hence why I like working in the office so much. Um, I pretty much have a lot more control on where everything is in here. Hence why the internet works now. <laughs> uh, but, that also brings its own, like, annoyances too. So... Yeah, but if you run like a small home business and if your power goes out or if your power is like going to be out for a few days or something like that, um, buy a UPS before this happens and get it nicely charged. Uh, that way, if your power would ever go out in any type of reason, you know, via it be your fault or not, um, you don't have to worry about your electronics shutting off on you at the exact same time. And also, one cool thing about UPSs is, is that uh, if you use them correctly, the main intention for them is for you to uh, be able to turn off your electronics. So, that's kind of the, the whole goal of it, is you will just turn everything off uh, in a very safe manner. Uh, why? I don't think that... Whatever. Uh, yeah. So, but going back to the whole story, and I probably just talk about what UPS is and why it's important. Anyways, uh, going back to the whole story shit, um, basically the UPS that fuck the UPS that was there uh, had basically died. Uh, I think the battery inside of it got shot because we've been having some oh my god some bad storms in the area I hate this I actually hate this okay uh, we had some bad storms in the area and uh, it knocked out some things in our store uh, one big thing being and not out our display TV like wall information dulio why why don't I just jump for it versus just trying. <laughs> Can't you just do your job, Luigi? Thank you. Uh, going back to um, uh, about earlier about the whole video stuff. Um, Whatever thing has the most, uh, we'll, we'll say the, the most comments. So, um, or, you know what, we'll do it like this. We'll make it more fun. So, obviously, comment down below what you guys want to see. But, I will play it like this as well, too. Um, if you guys want, um, Okay, no, let's not do it that way. Anyway, I was going to say, do this if you liked it. Do this if you disliked it. And I thought that I would get so many dislikes on this video. <laughs> it would just throw off my whole balance. Oh, boy. Fire Bros returns. Hell yeah. Thank you for using freaking new Super Mario Brothers. Oh, I freaking love 
That's something that we'll do on the channel one day. I will I will revisit my childhood game. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know a, um, a whole lot about it, because I played it very young. But like I say, it is a ho, 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 ho. Uh, but maybe we'll do that for, uh, like, a Twitch slash YouTube series. Maybe I'll relive myself playing uh, that game, because that is still my favorite new Super Mario Bros. game all together, and it's not even because it was the first one I ever played, actually, funny enough. Um, it was actually because I think it was the most creative and the most original. You know, just like in my opinion, like, yes, um, Super Mario Brothers was obviously created uh, way before a lot of the other games I like more, um, but I do have to say that Super Mario Brothers 3 and... Super Mario World, I think, are much better games because uh, they matured with the series. Um, where, kind of, in my opinion, the new Super Mario Brothers series didn't mature as well as I thought it would have. Uh, and that is not a bad thing whatsoever. Um, but it is also a bad thing for someone like me who is a huge fan of 2D Mario. Uh, where a lot of people might be 3D Mario only. Actually, you know someone who, uh, you know, who strictly only likes 3D Mario, but only 2D Sonic. Where for me, I love all Sonic and all Mario to death. That's some bull, oh, bull, 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 shit, shit, shit. That's some bullshit, it, it. No, 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 we ain't. No, 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 I ain't fucking losing that shit. Also, why'd you jump so far to the left? That makes zero sense. Come on. Come on. There you go. Alright, one up. Thank you. Oh, I forgot donut blocks are kind of ass. I forgot about donut blocks being ass. Oh, shit. Fuck. Ass. Damn it. Cock. Cock. Oh. I just fucked this up. Well, I got that. But here's the... Oh! Oh, we did it, boys. Looky there. You guys proud of me? Oh, boy. Oh, what does this say? It probably says what way to go or something like that. What do you say? Congratulations, you found the path to the third hidden warp star, but you need 18 bonus stars to play the next level. Well, it's a good thing I have 21. So let me go ahead and get my jump ready. 4,000 points. Let's go. Hey, Warp Star. Alrighty. But guys, this is actually where we're going to end it for this episode of The Princess Rescue 2. Um, I know we're only on World 3, but I do... I don't want to make these love these uh, these videos be super duper long, um, but yeah. So we're right about a half hour, so I think this will be good enough. And cut down some uh, retries and shit like that. But yeah, uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure you guys leave a like on the video if you guys really did enjoy, and also make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content like this. Uh, that I will give you guys every single Thursday, unless if I forget. And also, guys, one last final thing is that I do a lot of these recordings. This is one exception where I'm just recording by myself tonight. But a lot of these recording videos are done actually live on my Twitch channel with a live chat and light changes and emojis and shit like that. So it's really, really fun. So come on down to, to the Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash the Luigi Master 1000. If you've never used Twitch before, completely free to sign up. You do not have to um, pay any money to watch me live. All you have to do is just come hang out and support the channel. That's what always means a lot. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys for the second half of World 3. Bye!
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's holding. Wait. He's holding a charging jughead. <laughs> Sorry for that, Chuck. He's like, give it here and just 